Four years ago, I created a new way of playing an Iron Man on old school RuneScape, working towards a collection log one task at a time using a spreadsheet with four different tiers. After reaching 100% completion on the final tier, it is now time to enter a new chapter in the life of Generate Task. Welcome to episode one of Becoming the Collection Log Master. So now that it's time to start the master tier and we're no longer using the spreadsheet, you're probably wondering, well, how, how is the master tier going to work then? Well, let's go take a look at the collection log. And let's take a look at the task dashboard on the top right here. Look at that. Our first task in the master tier, which is 0% completed, is to get the infernal cape. And here's the entire task list, including of things like clue uniques, minigame lock slots, raid lock slots, a bunch of pets to get as well from bosses and skilling pets. We're going back to the wildy to green lock revenants and get the wildy boss uniques. We're doing slayer for lock slots. We're getting miscellaneous lock slots. We're doing other bosses that we haven't done before or have not done much yet. And we're also going for the max cape in the master tier. So we will be getting every single skill to level 99, one task at a time. Plus we will also be going for master combat achievements. So I have made tasks to get 50 CA points every single time to get enough event to unlock the master tier so that is the plan those are all the tasks in the master tier and this is probably going to take years to complete if ever but we're going for it anyways and the beginning of this is going to be the infernal cape so first things first we'll be going for a cape upgrade but before we start with that i want to open all the elite caskets i have in the bank that i've saved up because we are going to be doing all the elite and master clues passively in the master tier we just have active tasks for the lower tier clues so we're going to open all of those we're going to see how many uniques we get from that how many master caskets we get from all the elite caskets because we have like over 70 in the bank before i open all of those elite caskets i should probably quickly scroll through the collection log to see how far we got up until this point and also maybe show off my bank a little bit to uh, point out the main things we have in there so in the collection log in the boss tab we have a few green logs barrow's chest bryo crazy archaeologist hespori kraken obor sarachnus scorpia and thermonuclear smoke devil obviously a bunch of bosses that we still don't have green logged mainly because of pets and jars and stuff sire we need the pet and the jar hydra we need the pet callisto we still need the ring and the hilt which is something we'll be going for in this master tier we will be going for all the wildy boss uniques um and maybe also the pets along the way who knows cerberus we need pet and jar kills elemental we just need the pet same with the fanatic that's probably one of the first pets we'll be going for because that will be a pretty quick one siliana we need the pet core beast we still need all three sigils the jar and the pet so we'll definitely be going for one of the sigils in the master tier. Maybe we'll get the pet or the jar along the way. Dagonoth Kings, we have one pet. We still need two pets. I don't even know if I'll actually be going for these. Maybe we'll be doing some DK tasks, but we'll see what happens. Fight Case, we need the pet. Gauntlet, we need the pet. Crowder, we need the pet. Giant Mole, we need the pet. Grotesque Guardians, we need the pet and the jar. Inferno, obviously, we need both, but we will be going for the cape very soon. Calphite Queen, we need the jar. King Black Dragon, we need the pet and the visage, which I think I might be going for as well. Criara, we need the pet. Krill, we need the pet. Nyx, we also need four more uniques, and I think I'll be going for three in the master tier. Nightmare, we need everything. We only have one nightmare kill from the diary. Um, there will be a bunch of nightmare tasks, so we will be visiting the nightmare and we'll see what we get there. Phantom Muspa, we still need the pet. I also only have one Venator shard, so if we hunt for the pet, we might be getting the four other shards that we need to make the Venator bow, which would be pretty nice for some Slayer tasks. Scutizo, we need the jar and the Dark Totem, which we actually don't have yet either. Temporos, we need the pet. Uh, Venonatus, we just need the Void Waker gem and the pet. Vetian, we need just the Void Waker blade, because we got the Vetian Jr. pet right Right at the end of the elite here. Vorket, we still need pretty much everything other than the Vorket's head. And we will be going for one of these uniques, being the visage or the necklace, and maybe we'll get the jar or the pet along the way. Winterthought, we need the pet. Zelkano, we still don't have any of the uniques, not counting the onyxes, but we will also be going for one of these two, so maybe we'll get the pet along the way. Zolra, we need two mutagens, the jar and the pet. I'll be going for one of the mutagens, so again, maybe we'll get the pet or the jar along the way. As far as raids are concerned, we have 8 out of 23 from Chambers of Zeric. 
The goal is to finish with 16 out of 23, so we will be completing 8 Chambers of Zeric unique slots. But it also counts the capes, the cut onyx, and the twisted ancestral crawler kit. So whichever 8 lux slots we can get will count towards those tasks. Theater of Blood, we have 3 out of 17. I want to finish the Master Tier on 10 out of 17. Same things apply as with Chambers of Zeric. So we'll be getting 7 lux slots here. Tombs of a Masked, we have 11 out of 26, and we'll be going for 20 out of 26. Clues! We've completed beginner clues, we've completed shared treasure trail rewards as well. We have a few active tasks for easy through hard, but like I said, all of the elite and master caskets and clues will be doing passively. So we, we don't have tasks for those anymore, but we'll be getting a lot of them from all the end game PVM. So we will be making some significant progress towards those still. Uh, for the easy clues, we're currently at 110 uniques in 918 and we'll be going for 125 uniques, so 15 more. For the medium clues, we're at currently at 90 out of 115 in 448 medium clues and we'll be going for 108. In hard clues, we're currently 105 out of 134 in 484 hard clues and we'll be going for 123. In the minigame section, we already have a lot of green logs. Literally only five pages left that aren't green logged. Barbarian Assault, we just need the pet. But just is obviously a pretty big word, knowing that the pet is so rare. But we will be doing some BA every single time we get a minigame log slot task to try and get that one as well. Guardians of the Rift, we're still missing the pet and the lost bag. Hello, Sepulchre, we're just missing the Ring of Endurance. Last Man Standing, we are at... 18 out of 32 and the goal is to green lock other than the final two capes so we'll be going up until the 100 victory cape while also getting all of the other items so we'll be getting 30 out of 32 on this page soul wars currently two out of three just a pet missing we'll definitely be going for that one as well finally the other section already a lot of green logs as well obviously the all pets one 12 out of 52 depends on how many jars we'll get uh, to see how many pets we end up with but the goal is to like almost half fill this log as well random events obviously we're still missing the stale baguette revenants we will be going for green logs so we're getting the two weapons the amulet and the three emblems that we're still missing Skilling pets, I want to get three more so that we also half fill this log. Currently I have the squirrel going for four out of eight eventually. Slayer is currently 63 out of 73. We have five Slayer log slot tasks, so we will be going for 68 out of 73. Missing the heart and the gem from superiors, missing the wyvern visage and the draconic visage, and also missing all of the dusk mystic alongside one dagon high piece that I'll definitely be going for. And then there's miscellaneous, which is currently at 38 out of 52. I will be going for five miscellaneous lux slots as well. So that's going to be either the Herbie Pet, the Dragon Full Helm, one of these dragon pieces from the Rune and Edamon Dragons, the Amulet of Eternal Glory, one of the four Evil Chicken pieces, or one of the five Dragon Stone pieces, which I do also have a bunch of crystal keys for in the bank, but we'll start using those when we get one of those miscellaneous log slot tasks. That's basically the overview of the collection log. Let's take a look at the bank. I'll just deposit my gear real quick so we can have an accurate uh, gold representation, which is 4 billion GP. We actually reached 4 bill bank value thanks to the tour of a full helm. That's pretty nice to see. The main tab, nothing too special, just a bunch of runes. Zero blood runes, which is a pain to look at, but it is what it is. I don't have much cash left, but I do have a alk tab right here, which has a lot of value in that I'll get to later on when I need it. Obviously, the third age guide shield is here. A bunch of trash as well. This is a bit of a mess right now, but it is what it is. We have the ring of the gods, the cape of skulls, and the accursed scepter, which are the main things here. Supply stab, not looking too healthy either, but you know, we'll just keep this up whenever we need to. Could definitely start doing some more farm runs though to get some more restores and prayer pots and whatnot. This is the main gear tab, which is, you know, the one carrying the, the big items right now. We have the Osmumpton's Fang and the Tor of a full one with the Avernic here that we all got fairly recently still. We have the Jad Slayer Helm. We have the Twisted Bow with the Mazori pieces, the Zerite Van Braces, all of that good stuff. Basically the melee stuff, top left, range stuff, top right. We have the mage stuff in the middle right here and some other random stuff in between. A bunch of supplies. I'll just do a quick scroll through so you can see what we ended up with, um, but nothing too special. I have a, about 700 dragon stones here, which I guess I'll end up turning into glories when I end up going for the amulet of eternal glory at some point, but we'll wait for that most likely. Bunch of maple logs from kingdom, bunch of raw fish that I can still cook that I'll definitely need because as you saw earlier, the supplies are running pretty low. Other than that, nothing special. Some random things that I made 
that I still have to get rid of as well. Herb tab, as you can see, no Renars, no Snapdragon, looking pretty dire. No Toad Flex either. Still some Herb Lore supplies here, though. I don't know how much this gets me. I think like maybe 96, 97 or something. I don't think I have enough for 99 Herb Lore in the bank just yet. So when we end up going for 99 Herb Lore later on, we'll definitely have to farm some more Herbs. Slayer tab. Bunch of bones mainly, all the unsold heads, and some other random slayer loot. I still have three brimstone keys here. You know what? We're gonna open those later. Actually, no, I'll keep them. I'll keep them for um, when I get a slayer lock slot task. This is the alk tab. Like I said, a bunch of items that I can still alk for about 170 mil. We'll get to that at some point when I really need the money or when I do some activity that allows me to just constantly alk. This is the clue tab. Nothing too exciting here. Obviously, the caskets we're gonna open in a second. We have the music cape and the diary cape here. And then this is just a collection lock tab where I had a bunch of stuff organized to make it look cool, and nice and uh, organized. But then towards the end is just the stuff that I got later on that I couldn't bother organizing anymore. We have all my pets here as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's time to start opening those caskets now. And let's see how much we can get. We're currently at 30 Elite Clue Uniques and 153 Elite Clues opened, which is pretty lucky, I think. We also have 13 Master Clue slots in 50 Master Clues opened. Obviously, still only the one Mega Rare with the third age guide shield. Let's see if we can make that too. Also, this is a quick overview of all the combat achievements currently and my stats. Like I said earlier, we will be going for enough points to get to the master threshold on combat achievements. And then we will also be going for max. So all of our stats currently pretty much around level 90. We'll be getting them to 99 one task at a time. Alrighty, let's see. Will we get a new elite clue unique or will we get a master clue before that? We get the master clue first. Okay. Let's get going. We'll probably get like 14 or 15 along the way opening all these caskets. So it's going to take a while to get through these, but we're going to have a bunch of master caskets to open afterwards as well. Here we go again. First master casket added to the stack in the bank. Oh, dragon full helm ornament kit. Let's go. I don't think that's the rare one, is it? I think the, the kite shield is the rare one. Is that from master? I think kite shield is master actually, isn't it? Yeah, this one is super rare, I think. But we take that. Dragon full helm ornament kit obtained. First unique from the elite caskets. Let's see if we can get another one. Ooh, there's a duplicate dragon scimitar ornament kit. Probably gonna get a master clue now, right? Oh, a mimic. Of course, mimics exist. Let's kill the mimic. All right, what do we get from that mimic? Absolute trash. <laughs> Lovely. Ooh, a katana that we already have. Where are the master clues? There it is. Cool. 61 caskets remaining. Duplicate iron dragon mask. Duplicate dragon full helm ornament kit that we just got earlier. And there's the next master clue. Number three. Ooh, holy wraps. Another luck slot edit. Let's fucking go. Elite clues paying dividends so far. Up to 1094. And there's the next master clue as well. Back-to-back -back master, yay. That is master number 5 and four, uh, 24 clues so far, and we still have 50 caskets to open. Duplicate mithril dragon mask. Ooh, this is terrible. <laughs> that's, that's a bad inventory, those six caskets. And there's the next master clue. Let's continue once again. Master clue. Back at it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Master clue. Right there. We have eight more elites to open before we reach the milestone as well. All right, we're at a different bank, but it's time to get another unique. Oh, that's a duplicate from a killed. We already have that. That's another duplicate katana. We've already had one in this opening already as well. That's another duplicate musketeer tab art. Uh, oh my god. That's a lot of items. But no unique. And there's the heavy casket for having completed 200 elite treasure trails. Look at that. Now we have all of the milestone rewards other than the master clue one, which we still need quite a few master clues for. How many do we have? We're currently at 50, so we need 50 more for that one. Oh my god, what is with all the items? They're all duplicates, but there's ranger gloves. And there's the next master clue. 25 caskets left, and we get another mimic. Let's go. Mimic giving us wines of Zamorak. Another holy wraps, the second one on this opening. And there's the next master clue. All right, we're already up to 17 master caskets in the bank now. Still 21 elites to go through. Can we still get at least one new unique from them? Oh, ho -ho! together with a master clue, we get this beautiful looking afro. Oh, baby. <laughs> one of the best uniques, I must say. Very nice. 
Duplicate Mithril Dragon Mask. Pretty sure we had one of those already as well in this opening. Oh, baby! Yes, 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 yes. That's what we like to see. A beautiful top hat. That's such a cool item as well. Really like that one. Nice, unique. 12 caskets to go. Where's the master clue? There it is. And another Mithril Dragon Mask. Jesus. We have 19 master caskets now. Can we make it 20? Round it up. One more master clue from these. Thank you. Let's go. Can we get something in these last four elite caskets? <laughs> back to back master. Okay, surely we don't get another master from the last three caskets, right? Okay, we actually don't. We're done opening all the elite caskets we had. We got a lot of duplicates, but a few uniques as well. But now it's time to open the 21 master caskets that we got from that. Let's see if we can get something here. Here we go. Oh my god, first opened casket and we get a Samurai Kasa. Look at that. That's cool. That's a pretty cool item. Alright, we're at 1097. What if we just get two more uniques from these caskets? And then the Infernal Cape can be item 1100 on the collection log. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we get more uniques. <laughs> There's a duplicate Obi Cape with a new Dragon Defender ornament kit. That's pretty nice. Do we get the back three back? No, we don't. That would be a bit too much, wouldn't it? Slowing down a little bit now, that's fine. 16 masters to go. Give us some gilded. Is that too much to ask for? Just a little bit of gilded? I'm not even asking for third age. Ooh, fancy tiara is item 1099. Okay, I don't even know if I still want one from D7, but I feel like at this point we might just get another item and get item 1100 already. Ooh, duplicate tor tormented ornament kit. Already have that. Five caskets remaining. Four, three, two. And we get a mimic. <laughs> Hold your horses. We're not done just yet. We now have 10 mimic kill count. Let's pick up the plank for good luck. And let's get the third age ring. Or 600 death runes. Final master casket of the opening. And there's a duplicate fancy tiara to close it out. Not bad at all. We got a lot of uniques. We're up to 1099 lock slots now. When it comes to elite clues, we're at 34 out of 59 in 227 clues. Master clues, we're up to 16 out of 49 in 71 clues now. And now it's time to get item 1100 on the log. It's time to take on the Inferno for the Inferno cave. Well, we've made it. First things first, we're gonna have to sacrifice the one and only fire cape we have to get access to the Inferno. So there's no going back. As soon as we do that, we'll have to get the Inferno cape before we can leave this place. How does this work? Do I just talk to this guy? Do I use the cape on him? Fire cape, sacrifice it, yes, yes. There it goes. You hand over your cape to Tsar Ket Ket. And we can now enter the Inferno. Oh boy. Let's prepare ourselves for the worst. I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect. We're just gonna go in, die a few times, and, you know, learn along the way, right? We're just gonna quickly pot up. What could possibly go wrong, really? Like, what's the worst that could happen, right? Nothing bad can happen. It's just the inferno. It's just the inferno. Oh god, I'm not- I'm scared. How long does it take to spawn the first things? Do they instantly spawn? Can I run here, drop something? Wave one down, baby! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go, that's me. Okay. Oh, get one shot, you idiots. Wait, how does this work again? Alright, up to wave 18. We're gonna start getting the rangers now. What's the range on these bats? Don't they have, like, low range? So, can I stand here and then safe spot them? So how does this work? Oh, I misclicked on the thing, but I tanked. Whoa, I'm praying mage. Nah, I get tanked, idiot. I mean, we're down to level to wave 30 already, which is decent, right? Oh, hang on. Is that melee stuck? I'm dead. Okay, yeah, there was too there was too much going on there. That was a little bit too much all of a sudden in my head. I didn't know where to go. On the wrong alternate? Yeah, I think so. 
I was praying mage on the on the range attacks, I think, right? Or something. Ah, uh, I thought the, the melee was gonna get to me, so I ran back. But then the melee actually did get stuck. Yeah, I should have killed the blob, I guess. And just pray correctly on the range attack. I mean, first, first run, that was all right. We got to wave 31 and we didn't drink any brews, okay? Up until that wave, everything was going pretty smoothly. So that's not bad, right? <laughs> Come closer real quick. Whoa! I meant to click my rigger there. <laughs> Next wave was my PB last run. Okay. Now, I kind of want those guys. That was not smart. Yee! Whoa! <laughs> that guy's still alive. I don't know, man. To me, it seems like everything went according to plan. All right, new PB. We're making it to the majors. And I'm terrified. Hey, elite combat task. Let's go. Get it off my screen. I can't see. Have you done Inferno before? No. This is attempt number two. I did it in the league, but that doesn't count. I forgot this guy revives stuff. <laughs> my hand hurts from one tick flicking, man. This shit sucks. <laughs> How do people do that like an entire day? Whoa! I went off tick there, so... Oh, uh, it was, was going when? Well, blah, 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 blah. Was going well. Until it wasn't. It was going well until it wasn't. It's... Uh... I'm still alive, but I off-ticked again. Why was that so... What? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Maybe, maybe I should have sipped some yellow here. Oh, brother. Now, this is fine. This is perfectly fine, actually. This is great. Oh, shit. He got another attack off. No! That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. He's gonna revive some stuff as well as he does. That's fine. Why is he not reviving them? Why is it taking so long? He only revives when he attacks? Oh... Ha! Huh? Oh shit. I'm alive. I'm alive and that's what matters most, okay? <laughs> that's fine. How do I do this? I know there's a way to off-tick them, but I don't know what the proper way is. Range spray, click ranger. Wait, but I have to Tebow him then, right? Because I can't reach with blowpipe, can I? I missed that one. I missed one flick on the ranger. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> uh, no! Why? Hey. I can run here, right? And then click this. Oh! No! I didn't think that would drag me out. Fuck! Oh my god, and he hit a 60 as well? Piece of shit, man. Fuck me. Oh well, wave 52, second attempt, we take those. That's uh, another 21 waves compared to attempt 1, so that's alright. Don't like the look of this. Don't like the look of this. I, I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. Ah, uh, wave 31 again! Same as first attempt yesterday. Ah, <laughs> uh, for fuck's sake. Was I supposed to just stay on the pillar? Do like range melee, range melee? Maybe. Uh. We just killed that. <gasps> How am I alive? We're f <laughs> fine. We just do a little bit of tanking. Tactical tanking, okay? That was all according to plan. If I would keep flicking there, would it still be in uh, the correct rhythm after he revives? Or does that mess up his attack speed? Yes, so I could just keep going there instead of stopping. We leg it. Oh no, there's no pillar there. I forgot. I forgot there's no pillar there. I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh my! <sighs> what was that yellow click? Nah, I need a replay on that. I need a VAR check. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, we made it past 31, so 
That's already better than half of the runs we've done. I'm so dead. Holy shit, I'm so dead. I was lost. I should have stayed and just off ticked. I don't know if they were off tick. I should just stay there and flick between melee mage or something and kill the bat. Ah! Attempt number five, wave 47 again. God damn it. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have brewed actually. I could have done this wave without a brew, maybe. Ah, fuck. I don't know. That would have been greedy, I think. I don't know. Fuck it. We move. We move. Good spawn. See, now we start getting mage and range together. This is where we're gonna get fucked in the ass. As some might say. <laughs> Listen, we have one pillar to work with, okay? <laughs> we only have this one. This this pillar is our friend. <laughs> the other two, not so much anymore. <laughs> Can we just have the ranger spawn there every wave? That would be nice. <sighs> okay, next wave was my PB. Or is my PB. So this is once again the furthest we've gotten. All it takes is one spawn where I get the ranger and the major on me and it's all over. <laughs> Good spawns only. Let's manifest it. I think that qualifies as a good spawn. Ouch. I have no idea what to do here. Definitely not that. Hang on. Let me cook. Shit. I was cooking for a second there. I was cooking for a little bit. <sighs> Until I wasn't. 62 and 63 are the hardest waves, aren't they? <laughs> but here we are. We've made it to 62. 63 it is. See, I'm not gonna make it all the way with two restores at this point. That's for sure. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm praying the wrong thing. I'm dead as fuck. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Shit game, dude. Echt wel. Like, whatever. <laughs> I should- yeah, east, yeah. I, I didn't know where to go, okay. I, that, that was too much. That was too much. 63 though. 63. That is another 11 waves added onto our PP, so we'll take it. We'll take it. Oops. I didn't mean that. Oh shit, I, I hit a mage as well. Ah! <laughs> it's like wave 63 all over again. 31, I always die here on the first attempt of the day so far. But not today. Oh shit. I... Fucked up. It was so good until it wasn't. My pillar is not healthy whatsoever. But we are gonna reach 63 again. And last time we reached 63, we had like less than two restores and now we have six and a half. So that's good. Well, that was 63. Oh boy. Ah! Stop clicking on the wrong things! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, I'm shitting myself already. Ah, well, that's pretty humble. I don't know how this works. Hang on. Middle, pray mage first. Click major? Do I click the major here? And flick mage, right? Pray mage first. Attack major here. And then I just work here? Okay. Same as always, just looks funky. Okay. I never trust you guys again. Screw all of you. I'm perm banning literally every single one of you. Pieces of shit. If you started one more tile with that would have worked. I don't trust you. Stand middle tile, pray range. Everyone's saying other stuff. Everyone thinks they're a fucking expert. God fucking damn it. Just look at the clip and tell me what to do. <laughs> two tiles back in prey range first. We're just doing shit. Stand two tiles. Okay, I've seen that a few times now. You guys better not be wrong. Click major prey mage into range. If this doesn't work, I am ending the stream. 
I'm literally permabanning literally all of you. Like, all of you. Yeah, Terry gave me things, but then 10 other people gave me 10 other things. And Valim isn't here, he's the only one I can trust. Pray range first, range then mage. But what do I do? Do I attack the major? Walk out manually? Pray range first. That's what you're saying, Terry? Thank fuck for Terry. All of you are useless, okay? Let me make that very clear. Each and every one of you is piss useless other than Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. I <laughs> pray mage run out of the middle of the pillar. Yep. I'm not ready for anything that's about to come, okay? So after this, it's two majors, then Jad, then triple Jad, then Zuck. I don't even know where Jad spawns. Does he spawn in the middle? Oh, there he is. Oh, brother. Triple Jads. <laughs> Everything, my, my feet, my palms are super sweaty right now. <laughs> but we've made it to triple jets for the first time. Oh boy. Well, we've made it to Zuck, ladies and gentlemen. I need to, like, note down all the, um, HP, uh, thresholds. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I only did this on the league, okay?
go, baby! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! That's me! Woo! Holy shit! Let's fucking go! One time! Just one! Just one! We fucking did it! My hand is shaky. Holy shit! Just like that, baby. Just like that. Seven attempts. Seven attempts is all it took. One Zuck. We went from PB63 to having the Infernal Cape on the next run. We even completed the Grandmaster combat task. No luck required. We didn't tank anything. I think that's what it means. I don't even know. First ever Infernal Cape on the main game in seven attempts. There it is. Infernal Cape. Lock slot. 1100 on the dot. No more cheesecake. I'm super happy, dude. I did, I did not expect to get it, okay? I was, like, surprised that I all of a sudden got to, like, triple jads after having my PB on 63 on the previous run. And I was sure I was gonna struggle with, you know, all those waves. But then I did flawless triple jads. And then I did basically flawless Zuck as well, right? I didn't tank any Zuck hits. The second set caught me by surprise and I attacked the wrong major, which almost fucked up the shield. That would have been very unfortunate. But we fucking did it, dude. Easy as that. The first master task completed. But now, that also means that it's time to actually generate the first task of the master tier list. And I'm very scared for that. Let's do this. Release the fire cape until never again. There's the infernal cape. Look at my setup now. Look at this gear setup that we've got going on. With the tour of a Helm, the Infernal Cave, the Fang, the Defender. We are looking like an absolute beast. No more cheese cape for us. I did say I was gonna generate the new Master Tier task and I will do that. But before we actually complete that one, I will also be working on the forestry log that they recently added. Because those things would be in the lower tiers of the spreadsheet. Uh, so we are still going to be catching up on lower level content when it gets released. So we will be taking a break already to do some low level content to get this forestry log filled up. Uh, which I don't think will take too long. But then after that, it's time for the next master task. And I guess we'll find out what that task is going to be right now. Because we can click complete task on the new interface for the very first time. The absolute first task completed in this new series. We go from 0% to 1%, baby. There it is. Oh my god. We've officially kicked it off. And there's the green completed infernal cape. Now let's find out what the next task is gonna be. Just don't give me nightmare. I really don't want to do nightmare. Anything but nightmare. Okay, that's fine by me. Two LMS log slots, that is super easy. I'm looking forward to that even. Okay, after forestry, we can kill some people in LMS. That is fine by me. <laughs> we'll gladly take that. 